Hi, this is Terry with Sweet Stitching Embroidery and Design. I'm going to show you how to add pre-digitized fonts to your Sew Up Pro designs. So right now we've got an H on the screen here. And this is a letter that I purchased from, I believe it was Jolson's. So I'm going to um, right now select this block. I'm going to left click on it in the center of the H because I need to move it over. So let's move it over to the left a little bit so we'll have some space here to create our word. And now uh, we need to add another letter and it's actually very, very easy. You'll be amazed at how easy it is. So we go up to File. Actually, let's go to View. And you'll see the different options here. We're going to go down here to View Album Icons. We're going to left click here. The shortcut key is Control I but I'm going to left click on album icons and you'll notice that our image on the right changed, our view did. Right now we've got alphabet mode and file filter. What this does, if you've got alphabet mode selected when you merge your uh, lettering it'll line it up perfectly. And it'll be great. You won't have to do a lot of moving around. And file filter, I've got that set on PES. So let's now change it to all types. And you can see all my other lettering in this directory just showed up. So right now we've got this letter up here, the H. And since the H came from this file directory, when I selected View Album Folders, all the lettering that was in that folder just showed up here. So you're going to watch some really cool stuff happen here to, right now. So we've got our H moved over here to the left. So I'm going to type hello. So let's find an E. And we'll try an L. It's kind of ornate lettering here. And let's do another L. And let's do a big O. It's not very big, is it? And then, let's see, what else can we add? Okay, we've got that in there. And another option that you can do when you're uh, adding your lettering is up here where it says enter space. Click that. And that will let it know that you've ended that word. You're starting another one. So let's do A and then we'll add another L and another L. Hello all. And that's all there is to it for adding your lettering. And if you want to um, move it around a little bit, see the little green handle to the right here of the letter? You can uh, rotate a little bit if you want, make it look a little funky. Do whatever you like. But anyway, that's basically all there is to adding lettering and so what pro. Everyone have a great day. Thank you.